Happy Friday afternoon. This is Penny from Skyloom Weavers. And I wanted to show you, talk about, but show you one of the other things that I am doing while we are staying home for safety. I'm not quite sure what it's called out here. Um, I, I keep referring to it as a lockdown, and of course we're not actually locked down. But uh, this is one of the many things that I am doing while social distancing. I talked about a few of them on Tuesday in my blog. Um, you know, walking around the property, knitting, weaving. The other thing I'm doing is this, spinning. And this is my new, my latest spinning wheel, which I am tickled, absolutely tickled with. This is a Wyatt wheel. Now, William Wyatt was a wheel maker a few years back who unfortunately has left us. And his most recent um, trainee, trainee is not the right word, um, but Miles Jakubowski is a man who trained with Mr. Wyatt. And when Mr. Wyatt fell ill and died, uh, Miles carried on the company. So this wheel is made by Miles but it is a design that was created by Bill Wyatt. And it is a stunningly lovely wheel. Uh, the drive wheel is big. It's almost 32 inches in diameter. Um, it treadles effortlessly. Um, it has a little bit of a squeak right now, which I'm going to have to look at, figure out what's squeaking and add a drop of oil to it. But in general, it is very nearly silent. It's very quiet. This is a, a wheel with a fairly large footprint. Any of this, this is a um, Norwegian style wheel, and they have a fairly large footprint. And this is made with bird's eye maple, so it's heavy. I can move it across the room, but I'm not going to be carting it to my next fiber festival. Um, also, it's huge. So we had to. Uh, my husband and I drove out to San Antonio to pick it up. We met Miles there. Miles lives out in Del Rio, so we kind of split the distance and met in um, San Antonio. And we had to take it apart to get it in my car. I was surprised. I thought, I thought this was going to fit in my back seat, but we couldn't get it through the door. So we had to take it apart. Fortunately, taking it apart was incredibly straightforward. And uh, putting it back together again was incredibly intuitive. So it was all not a problem at all. So this is one of the things that I am doing. If you are interested in talking to Miles about a spinning wheel, um, let me know. I can give you his contact information. As I said, he's out in Del Rio, so you probably could get him if you just Google that. Miles Jacobowski, Del Rio. Um, there is a waiting time for these wheels. He makes them one at a time. So um, not quite sure what the, what the wait is now. Several months at very least. Um, but this is what I'm doing while I'm socially distancing myself from others. I'm, like I said, I'm also weaving and knitting, doing a variety of other things. But um, keeping busy and keeping creative absolutely makes me feel better. It makes me feel like um, giving up all the things I'm giving up is not completely uh, a disaster. So, so hopefully you all are doing well too. Let me know how, if you've come up with some interesting fun things to do while you're socially distancing. And I will talk to you again later. Bye.